All right, Tales of a Chinese Guitar Part One. Um, I just made that series up. Um, basically, I'm going to be doing uh, three reviews of three of my Chinese, very specifically headless guitars, all at a similar price point between two fifty and three hundred dollars. Um, all procured from uh, Chinese business establishments. And I'm going to be going over the different features of the guitars, quality control, uniqueness, tones, and all that good stuff. Part one. This is from a guitar factory or a guitar company called Ace Pro. That's A C E P R O. It's um, a guitar company that I chanced across when I got a second hand Strandberg headless copy. And I looked into the AliExpress market and I found that they had some pretty interesting, um, unique designs. Uh, they seem to share the exact same factory as EART, Earth Guitars, uh, which is currently exploding all across YouTube. And um, I figured I might as well give them a shot. So when I was looking into uh, their uh, list of products, I found this guitar right here now mind you this is a relic version um, this is not available anymore but the regular version of this exact guitar is so if you were to buy this guitar right now it would look exactly like this minus the relicing but here's a little close-up so this is an ash body it has a roasted maple neck and fretboard that's right it is a roasted maple neck and it's a uh, very nice gloss finish on both the neck and the fretboard now I know that's not something up everybody's alley but I personally love gloss finish necks I love how they feel I love how those fretboards feel and I like it um, on this guitar we have proprietary no-name pickups they are pretty hot I like how they sound they have uh, medium jumbo frets they are nickel frets from what it looks like the fretwork is good. Uh, I have another Ace Pro guitar and the fretwork on that guitar is subliminal, it's exceptional. Unfortunately, that's not the case with this guitar. So right there is a quality control issue right there. On some guitars, uh, the fretwork is gonna be pro level. Like the other guitar that I have has bald ends. This, on the other hand, it definitely doesn't feel rough. There are no dead spots that I could have that I could find on the fretboard the intonation is good but it doesn't feel like that now should you expect something like that on a 300 sub 300 dollar guitar probably not but I did get one so there is obviously some kind of disparity happening when it comes to uh, quality control uh, when it comes to hardware it has a very basic retainer thingamajiggy it doesn't have a zero fret um, looks like it has a plastic nut and um, black chrome tone knobs um, the bridge is interesting I have never seen a bridge like this so far and I'm kind of conflicted about this bridge um, so it's it functions similar to a hip shot headless bridge which is you uh, string um, through the end piece over here and you basically snip off the top and you wrench it down here and it holds the string in place and to be honest with you this guitar holds tune exceptionally well I did not have to set it up I did nothing to it this is exactly how the guitar came out of the box even the strings are stock right now um, however changing the tuning on this guitar can take a bit of a toll on your fingers now what they did do is that they slanted these tuning pegs so you can reach and get a nice grip on them however it's tight the spring that controls the tension is a stiff spring um, the plus side is that you can tune this really accurately like the tuning ratio is really good so um, on something like an overload of music bridge or you know something similar like a knockoff headless guitar bridge that you can get in the market nowadays 
uh, they have really big issues when it comes to the tuning ratio. That is not a problem with this guitar. The only downside to this bridge is having to put a lot of force when you're tuning the strings. But once you are tuned, you're not really going anywhere. This is also hardtail, so the chances of you getting out of tune is much lower. Now, there is a nice cutaway over here. And there's a bevel over here so you can reach your upper fret axis. You can adjust the truss rod from here. Um, pretty unique design. I don't think I've, I've seen anything like this in the market. Uh, let me know if uh, this is a knockoff from a different guitar brand. But I posted this uh, guitar guitar's picture in some headless guitar groups and nobody seemed to come up with anything. So I'm assuming that this is... Uh, a, a unique original design and if it is you know kudos to them i love it i love what this guitar looks like it's kind of offset but also has the whole strap thing going on with it three pickups not something you usually see on a headless guitar so yeah kudos to them how does it sound well it sounds really damn good uh i'm not gonna lie these pickups man i'm probably not gonna change them they are hot pickups um and i i'm gonna compare the sound of the neck pickup to the sound of another single coil neck pickup um, and you'll see exactly how much more hot it is uh, it has the strat sound You get the idea it's uh it has a lot of bite to it um i actually prefer rolling the tone knob down just a little bit um to you know get some warmth back in there cut the high ends a little bit and yeah uh, it, it's a nice tone um and when i go to my crunch settings just a little bit of overdrive. The difference in volume is, is insane, really. single coil guitar that I have which is a Telecaster you'll see exactly how much more high output that guitar is um, this is a Telecaster that I assembled um, and this is what its uh, neck pickup sounds like and it's much lower output same amp settings mm -hmm. sound either but um, it's a lot more controlled um, obviously lesser output um, it doesn't drive the amp as much um, this guitar on the other hand absolutely fucking screams um, we have on the bridge pickup oh boy Yeah, 
I mean, you can actually drive this uh, amp a lot more. I'm not going to do that right now because I'm playing through uh, Line 6 practice amp. And I'm not going to uh, defile this channel by playing through the insane setting. But um, I guarantee you, when I play this through uh, my uh, HD500, for example, or my, uh, my Fender Tube amp, and it, it really drives the amp and it sounds great. Uh, the distortion sings uh, when I play through these pickups. So yeah, I'm probably not gonna change them. Do I get 60 cycle hum? Yeah, of course, duh. It's something you have to learn to live with uh, unless you wanna invest in a set of noiseless pickups. Uh, my only concern is that I might lose the bite that I'm getting from these pickups, right? I kind of like it. I'm not performing in large venues or anything like that. So I can handle a little bit of feedback. It's not really a problem. Um, Apart from that, the finish on the body is like a porous satin. You can feel the wood, but at the same time, um, it's a satiny finish. I think an oil finish of some kind. Um, but yeah, uh, it, it feels great. It feels great. The neck is actually not a modern neck. It's like a chunky neck. The neck is very similar to the neck on my Telecaster. So yeah, it is not. It's not a shredder's guitar. Can you shred on it? Yeah, I mean, you can shut on anything, really. But it's uh, definitely more of a classic guitar. It feels like a classic guitar. It does have 24 frets. Yeah, it is headless. Yeah. But it feels on my hands like, you know, I would expect a Strat to feel like. It doesn't feel like an Ibanez or anything like that. So, yeah, that, that sets it apart. And I'm probably going to keep this in my collection for a while. So that should conclude uh, part one of uh, my series of reviews of uh, cheap Chinese headless guitars. I know that there are a lot of people interested in these guitars and um, they don't want to make those financial um, decisions and you know risks and buy something like this and then you know have it fall short of expectations because I know headless guitars while they are becoming more accessible it's still kind of you know a niche thing. So I hope that this video is going to help other people who have been, you know, eyeing this guitar on AliExpress, Ace Pro. Would I recommend it? Yes, I would. 100%. Um, I did say that Ace Pro is not consistent with quality control when it comes to their fretwork. But the disparity of quality control isn't like a 30 out of 100 and then a 100 out of 100. If the fretwork on my other Ace Pro guitar is like a 98, this is probably at an 88, you know? The fretwork is so great. There are no sharp ends or anything like that. Um, the frets are polished and beautiful, so it still feels great to play. Um, it did come strong with really, really light strings, like nines, and I, I don't think that works well with this guitar, so I'm probably gonna have it set up for 10s or 11s and, you know, get reinforced a classic feel. Uh, but apart from that, uh, I am going to be posting some more videos on reviews of Chinese headless guitars. So, till then, take care.